All right, I'm here with Josh Tuaniga, setter for Long Beach State. Um, after a sweep of Stanford uh, just now, so uh, give us your impressions of the match, Josh. Yeah. Uh, well, first off, great team. Uh, Stanford is. They uh, they put up a really good fight for us and got us into some adversity through a few through all three of the sets. And then the third set was kind of a tough one at the start. They jumped on us pretty quick and uh, gave us a good run. Um, uh, Props to our guys, though, to have some good composure late in the set, on that third set. Uh, just, uh, you know, that's something we've been kind of working on, just, you know, when it gets to those crunch time moments, being able to stay composed, uh, stay attention, or, uh, keep our attention to detail, and then, you know, making sure that we're on our side uh, doing things we need to do in order to stay strong. How do you practice for that? How, how does that? Uh, coach said, uh, coaches, uh, you know, have these great drills where, you know, They'll put us in situations where it's late in set, 2020, and you know we'll go to battle, and and uh, and it's it's a big deal for us just because it's something we've been we we we're trying to pride ourselves on to where you know it's it's part of us to be where when we get to that point, who's going to step up, and we want to be that team that kind of steps up and 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 uh, thrives in those moments. Cool. Uh, so you, Kyle, and TJ uh, first on the scene last year as freshmen. Um, two years ago. Oh, two years ago. Yeah. Okay. So we're juniors you're now. You're juniors now. Okay. So talk about um, how how you guys have uh, just grown in the last two years. Oh, it's How's it's it a big, different this year versus the last two years. It's a big deal just because of uh, the role we've had to step in um, this year. Uh, we're upperclassmen now, and we've had to take on some leadership roles. Um, whereas uh, the past two years, we've kind of sat back and. Um, and was you know followed some great leaders like Taylor Gregory and and Amir Lugo Rodriguez, guys like those guys who really paved the way for us to kind of step in and and, and take on a, uh, a big role. And the good thing about us three, uh, TJ I've been playing with for a very long time, so um, I kind of know how I, I know how he he does things. And then Kyle, uh, we've we've known Kyle for as long as we've known him um, uh, back in high school, so. Uh, the the chemistry between us three is really good, and we're able to communicate the things and and um, be much better vocal leaders on the court versus uh, as far as you know playing the volleyball that we play, and so the the step up for us is is in that kind of region, being able to lead the team, um, be on the front side of things, and and really uh, take control of you know where we want to take our team. What does that look like for you on the court or during practice? Typically, when you're trying to take control of the team, is it through encouraging the other players and giving them tips on the way, or? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, this year we've had we have a pretty large freshman class. We had like 12 guys come in, um, uh, really new to the program. So uh, a lot of it was just uh, making sure they're equipped to be a part of practice and be a part of travel rosters and uh, uh, be be a part of those games uh, at home. And um, so a lot of it was that, just kind of prepping them, uh, showing them the ropes of the program and how we do things and how we want things done. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so, so now, I mean, fall was a big deal for us just because we kind of hammered that in. Uh, now I feel like we're in, we're in such a good place and we did a fairly good job at uh, equipping them to, uh, to, be, to be great. Uh, um, it's, it's now turned into, you know what, okay, it's, from my role as a setter, I know like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very vocal, encouraging, um, but also I'm gonna hold my guys account accountable for the for their job as well as mine. I want them to hold me, mm -hmm. and it's that that uh, not the so if there's no fear of conflict there, we're able to thrive in that. So um, we're taking big steps in that. Cool. Um, so I know that setters don't typically get you know all the glory and attention of you know outside hitters and uh, can you talk a little bit about what it is that you do that makes um, the team successful? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, one of the basic things the setter does is kind of try to set up situations for our hitters to put balls away. And uh, um, where I find, I mean, uh, some people might say I don't get the, the glory, but the, you know, my hitters, you know, when they kill their ball, that's enough for me, and they give they give me enough, uh, you know. They give me enough back to where I'm able to, you know. All right, you know what? My hitters are doing a, a good job, and they and they respect what I'm doing. So, the 
the the back and forth between me and the hitters is a big deal. So um, so in the long run, I'm able to build chemistry and and uh, find other ways to score points um, and open up situations and opportunities because that's that's basically what we're doing, kind of opening up opportunities for for people to put the ball away. Cool. You guys are out to a 7-0 start this season. Um, what has been you know what has been you know part of making the team so successful? This uh, we've had a, we've adopted this mentality of uh, next game. So we never we're never looking forward and we're never looking behind. It's it's always what's in front of us. So um, next week we'll have Stanford and then USC right after. And uh, but the the biggest thing we're going to prep for is Stanford again this week. They brought in some some, some good things against us, and we want to be able to be prepped for that and watch some good vid and uh, have a good training session for the next week. But you know. The, the mentality of next game and it's always this game this game coming up is the most important game so cool well thank you for taking time to off the block appreciate it Ted